whole year knew me And from me home, who you think you to be? We the run run things, my guy, can't you see? Caught up, wanna check, wanna flex, wanna be Ebi, ebi things with a drink, we make fine Origin, fuck shots, got me feeling really kind We are dash, dash things from my pocket, I no see We are dash on the gun, I don't die, I no see well, I Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deborah, and in today's video, I want to do a bit of an experimentation. I just want to find out if there's a difference when I use or mix a bentonite clay mask with water as compared to mixing it with apple cider vinegar. So, I want to mix and put on one half of my face bentonite clay with um, apple cider vinegar. This is the one with the mother. I'm sure everyone kind of is familiar with this brand and then on the other half of my face i will mix the bentonite clay with just plain old spring water and see if it makes a difference maybe someone wants to try this mask and they don't have the apple cider vinegar yet you might just realize from the results that it's exactly the same or maybe it's not we shall find out so what you're going to need is some sort of container it can't be metallic and um, i've heard that using anything metal has an interference or it affects the bentonite so two glass um bowls i'm also going to use two plastic spoons for mixing them i also have these two makeup brushes for applying i think it might be easier to use these rather than using my fingers of course i have my apple cider vinegar and the water so i'm going to start off by i have got some bentonite clear ready in here but i'm just going to add a little bit more not that much because of course it's only for half of my face and that's just how it looks like I'm trying to think which one should i start with first mm. let me do the water one first so i've actually put some of the water in a little cup just so that i don't over pour and i'm just going to use my spoon and um drip it in And mix it and see if it's a good consistency it's meant to be more so like a paste type of consistency not too watery some people also do add some essential oils oh i remember one time <laughs> i did do this and i added um was it peppermint oil oh my goodness nah i put way too much my face was burning so this is what the consistency is looking like. So this is the water one. Now let it sit here. And then the next one will be my apple cider vinegar one. I'm not sure if we're meant to dilute the apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm not going to, so. There is a bit of a reaction happening here. I don't know if you see the bubbles. I didn't get that with um, the water. So that's the first difference I'm realizing. Apple cider vinegar. Look how luscious it looks. It kind of looks like it's, <laughs> I was gonna say it looks like it's moisturized. So mix it good, mix it well, mix it like you should, baby. Apple cider water. The apple cider seems just smoother. Apple cider. Water. So apple cider vinegar is what I'm applying now. You'll see. I'm just going to put a thin layer on. I feel a tingle. And that apple cider vinegar is really strong, by the way. Wow. I, I can feel it in my eye. Yay, yay, yay. I'm gonna make this as even as I can. Because I don't want to waste any product, I'm going to put all of it on, but I think what I have is enough. But because I just don't want to waste, there's a tiny bit left. Oh, don't get it too close to your eyes, guys. Oh my goodness, it's stinging. It actually stings. I 
So this is now the water side. So I have washed it off and moisturized with my shea butter, you know, I was going to wash my face but um, with my black soap I just thought no, let me just put the moisturizer on and see how it feels in this state. Um, the main differences are the apple cider vinegar side, it does sting, straight apple cider vinegar with the bentonite clay mixed together, it does sting around the eyes, I don't know what the reaction is between these two things but yeah, your eyes will probably be... Um, um tearing up a bit whereas this side is calm it's nice i actually quite like the smell <laughs> of bentonite clay i don't know it's it has this earthy thing about it but yep in terms of taking off i felt the water only side did come off easier but i don't know if that's because i did put that on second um and as i was taking it off i would just soak my face cloth in hot water and dab it all over my face until it softened up and then I used the face cloth and rubbed the residue or whatever was left of the clay on my face as a sort of exfoliant um, but you don't, you don't want to go straight in and try and rub it off because it's quite painful actually it's quite painful um, when it's that hard on your skin in terms of feel and touch my skin feels really soft um, but to say there's a difference with one side or the other honestly i'm gonna say no they both feel the same to me so i would probably say you don't need the apple cider vinegar i think it's cool when you see the reaction and the bubbles and all that things but i think the bedside clay works pretty well on its own with just water let me know what you guys think those who have tried it with water those who have tried it with apple cider vinegar how did it go and those who have tried it with both which way did you prefer did you find a difference or see a difference with your skin all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video